So lesson one, you call alter your ego. So tell yeah. us about that. Well, this comes from my training as a developmental psychologist and from the, the, work, the works of uh, Jean Piaget and others. And, and what Piaget noted is that children are very egocentric. And what he meant by that is that they view the world from their own perspective, from their, themselves. Literally, they think the world is an extension of their sensory systems so that if they're not looking at something, it ceases to exist. So they really do believe... Uh, we have a term in philosophy called solipsism, that the world is literally an extension of your mind. And they have to learn to differentiate themselves from that physical world and understand that objects have their own kind of identity and permanence and uniqueness. And, and this is captured in a lot of his demonstrations that children behave as if objects cease to exist when they're not being looked at or they're a product of the child's actions. Now, that's happening in infancy. Over time, they start to learn that there is a physical world and that is separate to them, and they start to realize that other children have different thoughts. But they still think of themselves very egocentrically. So initially, for example, they think that other people understand things the way they do. They see the way the world they do. And they lack what's called a theory of mind in the sense that they don't necessarily understand that others can have completely different opinions or completely different thoughts to their own. But around about three to four years of age, they start to learn to become less egocentric and more what I call allocentric, which means other focused. It's not that children don't interact with others, but that interaction is very much unidirectional, or one directional when they're very, very young. But if you want to become a functioning member of society as a child, and this is what childhoods are for, it's socialization, they've got to learn to become cooperative, communicate, integrate. And so when we tell children to behave, we're trying to teach them the rules of socialization in order to be accepted by the rest of the tribe, as it were. 